back to Pascal's triangles. But here's something interesting. Do you remember the pathway questions? Yeah, we did the pathway questions way, way back, like 20 podcasts ago. But the cool thing about this is can we apply Pascal's triangle to it? As a matter of fact, yes, we can. So check this out. Let's do this like we did before with the permutations. Okay? Do you remember how to do this? You're going from A to B. You got one, two, three pathways there, two pathways there for a total of five pathways that we'd say five factorial. Then, because they're repeats, you'd have to divide by three factorial, two factorial. And if you did all of that nonsense, this worked out to be 10 pathways. But I'm wondering, can we use Pascal's triangle in this? Can we actually look at this in terms of Pascal's triangle and get the same thing? Yes, we can. Remember, Pascal's triangle, when we're dealing with Pascal's triangle, we start at 1, and all of the values all the way down are always 1s on the sides. Well, same thing goes with this. Look, that's a 1, that's a 1, that's a 1, that's a 1, that's a 1. Now watch this. 1 and 1 gives you 2. 2 and 1 makes that 3. 3 and 1 gives you 4. 1 and 2 gives you 3. 3 and 3 gives you 6. 6 and 4 gives you, oh my goodness, 10 pathways. Pascal's triangle is magnificent, isn't it? It's absolutely out of this world magnificent. You don't have to do permutations anymore. You can go right into Pascal's triangle. Do you remember this question? We did one similar to it before. Yeah, look, we're going from the transit station to the concert hall, right? Using permutations with repetitions, this is really, really simple because you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be seven factorial over three factorial because it's a repeat, four factorial, it's a repeat. But you also have this small little concert hall going down here. With this concert hall, you've got this little section. And I don't care what you put here. This could be like a lake or something. Right? So you go over 1, 2, down 1, 2 for a total of 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial repeats. Right? And because this is an and question, you can go this way and that way. You have to multiply this. And when you multiply this all out, it works out to be 210. But think about this. Can I do this now with Pascal's triangle? You know what? Absolutely we can. Check this out. This is a 1, 1, 1. This is a 1, 1, 1, and 1. 1 and 1, that gives you 2. 2 and 1, that gives you 3. 3 and 1 gives you 4. Okay? 1 and 2 gives you 3. 3 and 3 gives you 6. 6 and 4 gives you 10. 1 and 3 gives you 4. 4 and 6 gives you 10. 10 and 10 gives you 20. 1 and 4 gives you 5, 5 and 10 gives you 15, 15 and 20 gives you 35. So to get to that point around the lake, there's 35 different ways of doing this. But what else does this mean now? What happens to Pascal's triangle? Well, this now becomes a new Pascal's triangle, not starting at 1 anymore, but starting at 35. So that's 35, that's 35, and just carry the 35s down, just like that. And look at this. 35 and 35 gives you 70. 70 and 35 gives you 105. 35 and 70 gives you 105 here. 105 and 105 gives you 210, which is exactly what you had here. Oh my goodness. So you can do this with perms, or you can do this with Pascal's triangle. Either way, I'm going to show you a bunch of examples right away that are going to knock your socks off.